you see how the legs got just so much uh, taller. Now I'm going to turn it back on. And suddenly she looks a lot taller, right? <music> All right, so three ways to lengthen the legs of your subject. Um, the first way is to shoot from a lower angle. You see the shot, can you tell where I was positioned when I shot this? I'm looking upwards, right? So the camera angle is upwards like this, and that is always going to, uh, especially if you're using a wide angle lens, I was at 12 millimeters here, so very wide angle. Um, the downside is I get the entire room, including the ceiling in there, but I did get all of her hair. Um, wide angle lens, shoot from a lower angle. It's going to distort the legs and it's going to make them look longer in camera. So that is way, the, the method number one. Now I cleaned all that up. That was a nightmare <laughs> in photo. It really wasn't that bad, but it looks like a lot of work, right? It kind of was. Um, and that's what we ended up with. But the... I got the length of the legs in camera. This is actually not a tall model. Um, let's go and let's look at one of her other shots over here. Here we go. So you can see she's actually not that tall, right? So I actually lengthened them a little bit here. You can see I expanded the, the canvas and I made her legs a little longer. Well, how did I do that? Well, method number two is in Lightroom. I can come down to just under the lens corrections there's a section called transform and I can adjust the vertical transform. So watch the slider on the vertical down here. I'm going to move it to, don't move it to the left. If you move it to the left, it's going to have the opposite effect, right? It's going to make her torso longer, but watch this. If you move it to the right, watch her legs. Look at that. Suddenly, and you don't want to go off the canvas, she's got longer legs. It messes with the edges here a little bit because it's kind of doing this little it's adjusting the plane like this and it's distorting the lower part of the body and it's almost like the picture is like pivoting backwards like that. It's really interesting. I'm going to turn it off. You see how the legs got just so much uh, taller. Now I'm going to turn it back on and suddenly she looks a lot taller, right? So that's method number two and you're going to have to, it's going to do this every time. So hopefully whatever shot you're using, you have some room you know, to crop in, right? That's another way. So we just made her taller, not in camera, but in post editing by using the vertical transform in Lightroom. So what's another method? Let me undo that. We'll go back to where we were. So here's where we started. So let's open this in Photoshop. All right, so here we are in Photoshop. I can hit Control minus maybe to give myself a little room to work. Uh, let's do a control J that duplicates the underlying layer. In this case, it's the background. It just makes a copy of the background. And very important because it does weird things if you don't do that with this particular tool. So go to the rectangular marquee tool. That's the selection tool with the, the rectangle or the square, right? And I'm going to select an area probably, you know, up to the top of her legs here. You could try going up to the hips. Let's try up to the hips. Um, it just depends. Your mileage may vary depending on your shot. Maybe you go up to the thighs because what we're going to do is stretch things down, right, using the distort tool. So once we've got the selection where we want it, we're going to right click and we're going to choose free transform. And then we're going to right click a second time and we're going to choose distort. Okay, we've got handles around our selection. So pull straight down on this bottom middle handle and watch the legs. You see that? Now I just gave her a good three, four inches, right? And then you just hit enter to commit the change and suddenly she's got longer legs. Now in Photoshop, they make it really easy with the crop tool. Um, I can come in, hit the crop tool, this one right here, and just kinda, let's use content aware fill as our type, change it from background by default to content aware, and maybe we can kinda move things around. Uh, we might not even have to do content aware, a little bit on the edge there, and hit enter. She might be still a little off center, but you get the idea. And so the third way was to just use the distort tool in Photoshop. So really easy method. So one, we used uh, the in camera method, which was 
this one right here where I use the wide angle lens. I shot from a low angle from close up. The closer you are, the more distortion you're going to get. And I got those legs long in camera. Um, the second method was I went over to this shot over here and I used the vertical transform tool and I used vertical here and I brought this over to the right, right? And I made her legs longer, right? And then the last method, uh, I went into Photoshop and we just used the uh, free transform slash distort tool, right? So if you didn't get all that in Photoshop, back it up and watch it again. Um, it's pretty easy. So uh, we made sort of a short, shorter model um, look a lot taller. So thank you guys for watching. Hope this helped. Hope you enjoyed it. And give it a like, give it a subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff, and I appreciate it.